chosen was where you where you where you chosen was back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one yes let's quickly do our smiling exercise <laughs> that's so beautiful yes chosen one god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you chosen one <laughs> I'm too excited. I don't know. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. All right, chosen one. You read the title. They are mad at you. Yes, you have no idea what happened. In this video, I'll be sharing with you what happened. Right? They did three main things to you. To held you down. To pin you down. To make sure you stay in misery. You become a victim of circumstances. Yes, they did that to you so that you will continue to hold malice, have bad feelings, hold grudge, and harbor bitterness or offense in order for you to keep yourself in hostage. Yes, that is why they did th these three things I'm about to share with you in this video to you. Oh, yeah. And something happened instead. Right? Great. So make sure you watch the entire video chosen one. Right. Okay. You see, what they did to you is that they tried to reject you. But when you were rejected, you accepted. Oh, yes. Knowing that that rejection is saving your time. If someone rejects you, it's not a bad thing. They are saving your time. They are saving you of your time. Yes, and you should be glad that, yes, they've not wasted your time for so long. Because if the plan is to reject you, no matter what, they're going to reject you. How long it takes, they're going to reject you. So the earlier, the better. So as they rejected you, you accept it. Yes, knowing that rejection is blessing. Man's rejection is going to provoke God's blessings in your life. When man rejects you, then God begins to hold your hands and direct your ways. That's it. And you have understanding. You know that the rejected stone will soon become the chief cornerstone. And today, you are a chief cornerstone. Yes, they see you and they marvel. They rejected you thinking, oh, yeah, you are going to fail in life. But now, you work on yourself and they want you back now. Yes, they want you back now. They want your help. They want your support. I'm telling you. You see, that is why the research is saying that we should be careful of how we treat our towel. Because... If you don't treat your towel very well, the place you use in cleaning your anus, sometimes you will use that same place to clean your face. Yeah. Chosen one, you need to understand that you are valuable. And that is why people are going to reject you. And some of you, you understand this. So when you were rejected, you didn't get mad. You didn't, I mean, become I mean, furious and try to hold offense, keep malice. No, you weren't resentful. You, you just accepted because you know that rejection is a blessing. Yes, when man rejects you, when a person rejects you, they are teaching you how to stand up for yourself, to learn to carry your own bucket of water. Yes, and now as you're doing things for yourself, you are realizing how amazing you are. You keep on astonishing yourself because day in, day out, certain things you think, oh, you cannot do it for yourself. You're doing it. You're doing it. And God keep blessing you. That is so great. I'm telling you. They are mad because their assignment, their sole assignment and agenda to pin you down, to hold you down, to keep you in misery, in poverty. You I mean, never allow yourself for such things to happen. 
They want you to be a victim of circumstance, to be living in self-pity, to be living in sorrow. But you see, whatever they, they meant for harm, you as a chosen one, you know that you have a God. And in whatever situation, your God is saying something. So you stood strong and you turned everything around. Yes, today, if they see you, they won't. Yes, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, chosen one. So that was what they did. But you, as a chosen one, you accepted it. You accepted it. Rejection is a blessing. I'm telling you. When people reject you, don't be mad. And when you are not mad, the assignment for the, your life will fail. And they are rather going to get mad instead. I'm telling you. Because the key is, the key goal is to get you mad. And now you ain't mad. You take it easy upon yourself. Okay? So it will return back to them. And that is what is happening right now. Are you going to some rejection right now? Don't get mad. Everything is going to work out for your good. I'm telling you. Right? So accept. When they reject you, accept it. Okay? Right. Great. The second thing they did is that, you know, they try to unlove you. Yes. Thinking, oh, if they unlove you, you are going to be desperate. You are going to be needy. You are going to be begging. You are going to be crying, you know, as if you cannot live without them. Yeah. They didn't know that you are the prize. They didn't know that you have a mighty presence. Your presence is mighty. And your absence is going to really be felt the most. So, when they unlove you, you let go. And that get them mad. Because they didn't want you to let go. In fact, they want you to hold on to them. So that they will feel validated and confirmed that, yeah, indeed, without them, you cannot do without them. But now, you let go. And you're doing great in life. You're working on yourself. You're trying your best to become your true and authentic self, a better version of yourself. You're trying to add value to yourself. You know that, yes, you are the garden. And if you are the garden, then you need to take good care of your garden. Your garden that I'm saying here is yourself. You take good care of yourself. And when you take good care of yourself, you don't go chasing. When you take good care of your garden, the flowers grew, grew and they look beautiful and attractive. For sure, the birds are going to come. The insects are going to come. You don't have to chase it. They will come. So you attract. Right now, you work on yourself and you attract. You don't chase. So they wanted you to pursue them, to chase them so that they will feel like, yeah, they are so important. No, everything has, has turned the other way around. And they are mad. Yes, that is what is happening. That is what has happened to so on. You're turning everything to your good. And that is how every chosen one should live his or her life. Whatever happens in your life, accept it. Knowing that. If it is not part of your destiny, it's not going to happen to you. So don't be living as a victim of circumstances. Don't be living in self-pity. You are born to be great. You are born to rise. You are born to stand tall. You are born to succeed. Don't let anything, any rejection, any unlove from someone, I mean, held you down or keep you down to where you do not belong. Right? Great. Remember, you are an eagle. So keep sowing higher and higher and higher. The third thing they did to you is, 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 is that, you know, they try to, I mean, choose someone or something over you. Yes, that is what it, they did. But you know what happened? You moved on. That is it. Whenever they choose someone or something over you, learn to move on. Learn to move on. Okay, learn to move on. Learn to, 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 to cherish your own solitude. Learn to love yourself. Right? They did that. And, you know, you, 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 you show yourself some love. You, you really give love to yourself. You take care of yourself. 
And now that is driving them crazy. They, they're mad because you've, you've moved on. Yes. You see, they are doing all these things to get you offended, to get you emotional, to get you to flame up. The enemy know that everything is energy, everything is spirit. And when you are at peace with yourself, when you love yourself, you love your own solitude. Nothing can limit you. When you can think for yourself, make decisions and choices and take your chances and, and you know, take opportunities. Right? There is nothing that is going to limit you. So the enemy will make sure they come with offense, with bitterness, with grudge, with malice, with things that will ups upset you. Right? That's it. But you are so wise that you know that mm, you don't have to wrestle with the pigs. Because the pigs like the mud. They like the filth. They let the debt. So if you try wrestling with them, they will make you one of their own. Because misery likes company. And that is what they want to achieve. But you saw through it all. And you said, no way. You isolate yourself. That is why chosen one, you go through isolation period. Yeah, you are separated. You learn to be alone. And you are at peace with yourself. That is the chosen one. So in conclusion, I want to make this video really, really short. In conclusion, chosen one. If you are rejected, accept. Yes, accept. If anytime you are rejected, accept. And if you are on love, let go. I repeat, if you are on love, let go, chosen one. Let go. And if they choose something or someone over you, move on. Move on, chosen one. Remember that in every no from someone is yes to someone better. I want you to remember again that whenever a door is being closed, then five more doors open. That is how the universe works. That is how God works. So stop looking at the closed door and figure out which doors are open. Because the moment you don't hold on to and you let go, you are allowing space for new things to come your way, better things to come your way. Remember this and stay true to yourself, right? The enemy will always try to reject you, to unlove you to choose something or somebody over you. Whatever that is happening, it is to strengthen you. It is to help you grow. It is to improve you. It is not to impair you. So don't be mad, right? Don't be mad. In pressure and in tension situations, don't I mean, worry. No, don't worry. You see, worrying so much will make you not to be able to distinguish between the blessings of God and Satan's bait. So don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Just taking some deep breath. Relax and ask God. God, I know in every situation you are saying something. What are you saying? in this situation i need you i need you lord show yourself strong in my life and god will show himself so strong in your life because he has chosen you and not forsaking forsaking you i'm telling you god has you at heart he cares for you he loves you so much right so when you are unloved Remember, your creator loves you. When you are rejected, remember not to reject yourself. Accept yourself. Right? Don't lose yourself. Always accept yourself. Because you are going to live with yourself for the rest of your life. Anybody or anything that comes in your life can leave you at any point in time. That is why you need to spend more time with yourself.
I'm telling you, right? And that is how you win in this life. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.